you can tell. I know you can tell right away that when I'm ready for summer, I got my summer camp haircut. You can see right here. Isn't this the go to boy school? You know, a boy scout camp haircut. So I'm pretty happy about that. Little, actually, little miscommunication with the barber, but that's okay. That's all right. It's been another, it's been an exciting week for another reason. Uh, you might have seen this, uh, the East Side, East Side Week. This is the weekly's fledgling East Side version. I like, I got to use the word fledgling in my monologue, which is always exciting to me. They've come out with their special best of the East Side. Little in, insert. I know, I know. Ooh, I know. I know the suspense was killing us, but it's finally here. And, you know, I've got to tell you right off the bat that one of the most interesting things about this is that they included, they actually included Renton as part of the East Side, which... <laughs> all right. People... I know, I know. A lot of people from Renton here. A lot of people from Renton in the audience here tonight, and they're thrilled because now when people ask, where are you from, they can say, the East Side. I'm from the East Side. Really, I'm from the East Side. And I was looking through this, and also I have to say that I found a lot of the entries in here fairly strange. For example, they've got an entry here, Best Kept Secret, Bothell. That's what it said. <laughs> yeah. I'm wondering now, did I read this right? Is it Best Kept Secret or Best Kept Secret? You know, I don't know. <laughs> Which I think is the correct reading. Also completely true, completely true. They've got a whole section here, Most Underrated. You know, Most Underrated this, Most Underrated that. Uh, in, in here it actually says, Most Underrated Late Night Thrill. Any, any guesses here? No. This show. Very good. No, that's not it. Actually, it's Xeroxing at Kinko's. Xeroxing at Kinko's. I guess my question is, what exactly are you Xeroxing? And could you send us a copy? Also, another actual entry here, most underrated home entertainment, a bird feeder. Yeah, boy, that really is underrated. You know, oh, throw away the VCR, honey. I've got some seeds. Yeah. Anyway, we thought that they had uh, obviously had some problems coming up with good categories, just you know, categories for the East Side. So we thought we'd give them some help for next year's issue. And I got to tell you, with stuff like this, I'm sure you guys will be around next year. Anyway, uh, these are our suggestions just for some categories that you could be thinking about for your next issue, you guys, you East Side Week people. For example, best upscale housing project with thousands of pretentious look-alike homes that rhymes with Flahani. That might be a good one. <laughs> for the east side there. Best beige and brown boxy building with a parking lot in front. That could be... How about this for the east side? Best yacht wax. Would that... Or best little cute bistro with no one in it. Another... All right, here's a good one for the east side. Best area for black people to be asked, can I see some ID? Ooh. Ooh, okay, right. Best rural road with bumpy, irregular asphalt patches that adjoins brand new, perfectly paved driveways. <laughs> Best area of natural beauty that's about to be raped and pillaged by Ken Baring. <laughs> and, and finally, high school with best parties while parents are in Barbados. <laughs> More appropriate categories. We hope you guys can use that, use your suggestions to make a better paper and increase your circulation. Because in television, we're always concerned with increasing ratings. And with that in mind, we've come up with a pilot for what we think is sure to become a major hit. Take a look. 